Hello. We have another game. Uh, and it is against... Oh, Lizards. Okay. Another new one, I think. For this team. Uh, I'm hoping that everything is working okay today. I'm trying out something slightly different with my sound. Um, I'll explain in a minute once we get in place. Just want to see what's going on here. Okay, we're lower. So, let's see. This is them. They are on 1350. Pretty good record. Up in Platinum. And they've got Guard. Block on most of their Saurus. Uh, guard here. So they've got the same-ish amount of Guard. I think they might have the same. A similar amount of Block. They've got actually a pretty similar team. Or told. And then we've got a Sidestep Sprint. Yeah. Uh, and how many players... Oh, a bunch of extra players. I guess we're a little bit more skilled up, though, because despite them having four subs, we are not giving away that much. In are they missing, like, Apos and stuff? Apo, real no. Why are they so cheap? Maybe our guys are just expensive. Fort Soros are pretty expensive as well, though. We've only got one extra player, so this is interesting. Uh, with 40k, unfortunately, we can only do this, really. But yeah, what I'm doing is I'm testing out playing the sound through my speakers and recording. Um, just to see how that goes. Free me up a little bit. It's weird, though. I am already finding it a bit odd. In the sense that um, we're on defense, so there's no real value to putting our good guys on the line. Yeah, I'm just finding it odd. Because I'm used to, I have it set up so I can hear myself normally. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. See, I have it set up so I can hear myself through the headphones, and um, I wanted to try doing it this way just to see how it feels. I'm just going to make sure we're all... It says everything is recording, so theoretically we're, we're good. Sorry, I know the frame rate goes funny when I check this. So I guess I'll check it after this one if it works, just as an alternative. Hopefully it's not making any difference to you and you're not even aware of what I'm talking about. That would be the ideal. But yeah, I usually like to be fully immersed, but just giving myself a break from headphones, really. Okay, that's a pity that it was a high kick because it meant he got to... Like, he had everybody set up up here. He would have taken him a while to get back, but now... He's been able to move somebody back for it, so that's a pity. I guess we do have more skills than them, overall. So... It's not to be sniffed at, but obviously they have speed on us. Quite heavily. Oh, we do actually have an extra guard. Oh, that is bad. Uh, we're going to attempt to apo that because going down orcs would be a pretty rough way to start. Okay, we got lucky there. So we'll have him back, which is big. Because obviously this is a very much an evenly matched game in terms of... Oh! He got one sub. Why did it feel like it said he had more? Maybe I'm just going crazy. That makes a lot more sense. That That... Makes you feel like the team setups are a bit more reasonable. No pick up there. Is he going to drop a reroll? Yeah, I wouldn't have either. There's no danger there. So he actually didn't really benefit from getting the high kick after all. So we can be happy about that. Now, what are we going to hit?
do we get stuck in on this front line is the big question. And I don't have a great answer as of right now. We are down players, so there's a, an argument for not getting stuck in. But the troll is a little isolated, so that's a pity. So I think what I'm going to do is this. And we're going to re remain stood off him for now. Well, that's the way to start, eh? I think I am going to use a reroll here, because... Let's not instantly get ourselves in the hole, eh? I guess we could drop in a foul here. Well, that's not a great result, is it? Okay. This is, this is why I don't foul. <laughs> Use a bribe? We don't have a bribe, right? We don't get a free... We don't get a free bribe or something ridiculous, right? Why did it say use a bribe question mark? Maybe I've just been silly there. I'll look that up while we're playing. Did he just injure another guy? Oh, this is this is looking a bit rough right now. Okay, we get cheap bribes, yeah. Um, but we don't get bribes. Wow, what a, uh, what a star, eh? For a second there, I was like, I guess it's just the offer bribe screen. Um, so this is one of those situations where you have to try not to panic too much, because obviously we've got two orcs out, we've got goblin out, so we're three players down right now. We can get that back to being just one player down. Um, hopefully. But, that one player is going to be... Oh, it was the troll that went out, I wasn't even, I was looking at the... Okay, so yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty bad overall, but... I guess it means we'll have all our orcs, if we want to look on the bright side. I I feel a little bit, sort of, a victim to, uh... RNG right now. But that's, you know, that's the way of things sometimes. That That can turn around. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Making it a bit awkward to get down the sideline and call it a day there. I don't want to swing too heavy over in case he just flips. He's committed fairly much on this side, but he could change his plan. I try not to get too much into sort of, um, you know, well, that's this game down the drain. Because, uh, I mean, that doesn't really benefit anything, does it? But I suppose at the same time you want to be sort of realistic about how things are looking in some ways. And maybe, you know, adapt your strategy a bit or whatnot. Maybe maybe at some point we take a bit more of a, a chance on something that's unlikely because things aren't looking great. Maybe we actually play more conservatively. Um To just try and make it to second half and see if we can sort of sneak a uh, 
a, a better result. I guess we could try and try to see what our best option here is. I think it's probably just to push. I went from that direction. All right, so let's imagine I did this. And then this. Trying to find a way to get a better result here. So then we push. This guy to here. And follow. I mean, we're getting armor breaks as well. It's just the nature of the armor breaks. It's the classic. I, I've talked about this before. Uh, is this guy already? Oh, this guy blitz. So that's a one dice, which isn't the best. And I can't prove that, unfortunately, because of where our guards are. Uh, yeah, I guess you can stay there. I think the one dice is probably worth taking, so if this guy falls, our guy falls over, it's not the end of the world either. I'm going to shift him back the other way. Uh... Yeah, sure, let's do that. Goes a little bit against what I said, but... It also provides a little bit of danger. Maybe he'll try and do some crazy sort of surf situation here, but we've got two guards here, so this is not an easy block. Alright, down goes that guy, but this guy's still here, so there's no path through right now. And we didn't die. Yeah, it's interesting. It's been a very high armor break game for the two teams that are playing. Uh, but obviously the, the lasting damage has been done to us, unfortunately. Yeah, he's already pushing back the other way, so I feel like these skinks are going to come back around and re-centralize. So I think this is very much a push us to one side sort of situation here. Uh, but obviously as, as lizards you don't have to commit in any way to that, in, in a way that we kind of actually do commit pretty hard. I think this is a, a tough game for us because they match us for strength, but outspeed us by uh, two on every player, every sort of comparative player's uh, position. So what we have going for us is essentially grab and brawler, but I think uh, it would be a reasonable question to ask, does that make up for two squares of speed on everybody? And I think in many ways it doesn't. Uh, in this matchup. Because that's all we have going. In some matchups, you might be like, well, elves have that as well, but the thing with elves is they're squishy, whereas we're much less likely to make headway into these guys. You're just getting up. I think we might have to do this one. I'm going to push him back towards the edge. Now he's come this way. I'm going to keep him where he is. Uh, I guess we'll f follow on that. I don't really want to do. Um, we'll push him towards the edge as well. And we'll actually stay on that one. See if we can bring this guy over. We can. Try and restructure a little bit. It's going to be hard to keep up with him, in all fairness. But we'll do what we can. We did use grab. Try, try and use grab to our advantage there a little bit, so...
That's another one down. What did he roll on this? Okay, was it? I think unfortunately our two best players are going to get trapped here. So he's going to just going to trap these guys in, I guess, and then make a play down there, down the wing. So our question is going to be, how do we free them up ultimately? If he doesn't bring anybody else in, I sp oh he does. Okay, I thought he was going to use this guy as a little linchpin. No, he's going to keep him trapped. I mean, maybe sticking a goblin onto the ball isn't the worst idea. This guy definitely comes across. And this guy's going to come at least middle himself. This whole middle section is, is not great. Trying to work it, if I one dice this guy, this guy would get freed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six to get there, though. Hate to say, but I think we try this. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I can't really brawl of that because that could end the turn. Could just flat out dodge this guy. Nobody ever sees that coming. It would be a reroll. Reroll's not going to get used on the troll throw though because the troll's out. So that at least kind of locks these guys in place a little bit. Oh, that's a fortuitous hit as well. Okay, I'm I'm happy with that. I, I pushed it a fair amount there. I'm not going to push it more. I guess I'll probably just dodge away from this. It's pretty easy, but you know, it could it could fail, right? Freeze up. These guys are all free, which is unfortunate. Gets a three dice. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, I still feel like that was the right, right plan. That's interesting. What's he doing over here? That's not where I'd have... I'd have expected them to go here and then put the skink here. Okay, he's re-centralizing again. Good player. Definitely our toughest opponent so far. Not being able to rely on mistakes as much as other games, and unfortunately the, ar the armor breaks mean we're in a bit of an uphill battle here. I don't mean the armor breaks really, I suppose, I mean the casualties. But his strength really comes to bear here now, doesn't it? I think you're just standing up. I think you're probably just standing up. I guess we make this our blitz. We don't really have a lot else on. Hmm. 
at least get a two dice block here. There's no good block here, I can't really see what's going on, and we'll just try and move there. I mean, he might have a sort of bad roll at some point as well. That's possible. That'd be nice. You know, if it comes at a crucial time, there's there's still a chance. We've got players on the field. Somewhat. This is turn seven, so we're going to move this way because... Oof. Yeah, everything is sticking today so far. We're going to need a good turn 8 slash turn 1, really, to, to sort of stand much chance of <clears throat> not just getting washed out of the game. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one dice. <laughs> That's my plan as of right now. Obviously, it doesn't matter how many skinks he puts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still can do it. Actually, less dodges. More armor breaks. Better he'll one dice this as well. Actually, maybe he won't, because then this guy's free. Probably just better off leaving it. Let's imagine that this works. That guy stunned? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Sweet. I mean, we just got to make him roll as many dice as we can, really. Because if he fails a pickup, which is a one in nine, then boom, we've made it in zero zero. Gets the push away, so it's. Assuming this uh, isn't problematic, he'll be alright. I wonder if he'll hit with this guy because he wants to level up. I don't know if he wants to level other people up. Or not really. Oh, he's still moving. He's not going to make that block. He's making... I... I... I personally think that's a... I guess it's not that bad. Uh, you've got a you've got an extra reroll. It's not as bad as it used to be. I think part of the problem is I'm still stuck in the old ways. So to me, you've only got one reroll for the turn. But obviously, he's got three rerolls to use on three separate rolls. But getting this, he only needs one reroll. So essentially, this is a free reroll. Oh, okay. I mean, I I'm happy with how we defended that, despite it not working out. You know what the other thing is about not having the headphones on? It feels more like I'm talking to myself than normal. Like normally because of the headphones trap you and you hear the voice, you hear more of the, the game. It does feel like I'm talking to somebody. This feels weird. But yeah, a, a pretty bad first half, but we gave ourselves... We we I felt like we defended all right. I don't think I did anything too crazy. I think just the armor breaks went against us. Obviously the foul was unfortunate as well. I don't know what we rolled, but it's 
unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll set up for the old, you know, just in case uh, somebody needs to be back to pick up the ball now. Uh, I guess these guys should come in, and then they can push them around a lot. Maybe I should have put these guys on this side away from the uh, big guy, but we're here now. I'm not expecting much to happen, but you should still set up the best you can, right? High kick is not what we were looking for. Uh, I guess you can try and get it. Nope. All right. Uh, no, we want to hit you. Actually, we probably do want to hit. No, because I'll. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll brawler. Should I shouldn't have brawled? I don't know why I keep forgetting about block. Like, there's no reason to brawl it. There's a reason to brawl it this time. Okay, you can just go over there. Could have done with something a bit more permanent than that, but, you know. Shouldn't complain. Did he appo that? He appoed it. He is playing for keeps. The guy that already should be down. Well, in that case, do we step on that guy? I think we have to, right? Even though it's risky, like, you know, it could be swingy. Uh-oh. Oh, I see a double. Oh, it must have been on something else. Hang on, turnover? He got... Yeah, he did get sent off. I guess it doesn't show you the red card for some reason. So we did get... Okay, I mean, that is a reasonable exchange, honestly. <laughs> Under the circumstances, is it great? Maybe not. But a block Saurus for a no skill goblin is is pretty handy. You know, if we can do something here on the touchline here, maybe there's something to be salvaged. If we somehow salvage a draw at this, I think that would be a real achievement. I'm not expecting that if I'm being honest, because I think that's a pretty tall order, but I'm at, at the same time I'm not ruling it out. You go over there, you go over there, just try and protect our flank slightly. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Because we're just going to get locked down here, I think, most likely. If I were him, I'd even be tempted to be okay with putting a skink on, a, on the Black Orc just to keep him, keep him tied down. And then you, you know, you can leverage your, um... Your guys. Quick snap is nice. How many do we get? Six. Wouldn't mind catching this. Okay. Uh, hmm. Ball is not what I would call safe right now. It's safe ish, though. Very nice. Let's push them back. 
That's not very safe. Ay ay ay. That's I think that's two halves in a row we've started with the old Dub Skull on the first turn. I'm bringing this guy up in case this block fails. It doesn't, which is great. KO would be nice. Nice. The problem is going to be all these skinks, uh, unfortunately. Well, that's going to be a big problem anyway. Now to attempt the pickup. Come on. Good little goblin. Alright, we'll go with that. So, we do have him down to 10. We are down less than that. We're down to, what, 8? So we're still two down, but we have got two of his strong guys out. He's got one of our... No, hang on, there's an orc down there as well, right? No. Okay, he's got a troll out, but yeah. Okay. He's got four Saurus on the board. We've got five Black Orcs. Six Black Orcs. So, that's really good. I imagine he's going to try and attach people to the ball here. Especially the sidestepper. Is this going to be a blitz? He already blitzed, right? No, okay. He's just... Giving himself advantage. Boy, could we... Might have to try and one dice that. We'll bring you here. We're going to come over into this space, I think. I think we have to try and hit a skink here. May as well three dice, eh? Just hoping for more, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, you can slot in here. Get two dice here. Ah, oh, disappointment. One dice here, which fails. Can't re-roll that. Sadly. Well, technically the ball is in a cage. We, I, In an ideal world, we need to be taking people out each turn, which we're not doing. But it's also asking a lot. Two hits on skinks there, though. I'll take that push. Because for them, we kind of just want to protect for the moment and see if we can get some numbers. It's a big ask, but that's sort of what we're trying to trying to do. I think he should make that hard on us. So, like, I think somebody should be coming here. He's very much staying in front of the ball. I think you could just lock our players down. And make it hard for us to to even move and and have to make some potential one dice blocks, which I suppose he kind of is, but <clears throat> yeah, in fairness, I think he's doing fine. I think this is prob probably a safer play because you're less likely to get caught. Uh, 
we have to try and make some ground back here, unfortunately. Uh, disappointing. Follow. I'm going to try and get one dice on the rocks by doing this. Hang on, if I were to do that... Oh yeah, yeah, god, okay. Yeah, this is where we start getting really risky here. But such is the nature of our situation. Yeah, I'll take that. That should give us the two dice we so desperately crave. Doesn't really pay off. Oh, is he going to stay in contact? I wonder. Might be interesting. No, he's not. I think we're actually going to squeeze up as well, whether it's advisable or not. Got to keep things tight here. Sweet, that's why we pushed him away, because, you know, he has to try and do something then. The good thing about not having the troll on is we don't have to worry about really stupid, hey? So I think at the moment we're still in this, although that could change very quickly. I suspect what he's going to do is bring some skinks in here, or just bring one skink in, hit this down, which will give him an easy hit on this. Probably hit that, and then he can come in with this guy and get on the ball. That is my, that's what I think I'd be doing. So I expect this guy to come here. Two dice. Or even maybe two dice. Boom, boom. Yep, here we go. Oh, that guy's got a uh, plus one to injuries. Didn't see that. Down he goes, so it's it's definitely happening. I'll probably push this guy here. Ooh, actually, that's interesting. No, I don't think you want to push him here. Okay, so he's pushing the ball back. Huh. I feel like he could have opened up... If, if he hadn't have moved in there, I, he could have had a hit on the ball. Jam's in the, the greedy re-roll. I think I'm going to come... Here. I'll come back just to help out with bodies and all. Okay, that wasn't a terrible turn for us. I mean, it looked pretty bad, but, you know, in some, like, the ball is still live, so that's positive. He's definitely worried to overcommit here. Uh, and he doesn't have to, right? I mean, that is a fair point as well. He has a commanding position. We're both sort of happy in this weird stalemate, because he knows at some point I'm going to have to try and break away and that he's got a very fast team to, to track me down. Who's on the floor here? I'm... Um, Guard guy. I'd like to make that hit. And I think we do. Because also this guy has previous problems. So you never know. Rats. That's a one dice right now, right? Yeah, it is. Re-establish. Two dice against. Now it's a one dice. Hmm. One dice. You just got up. Trying to decide what's best here. Probably this. 
Yeah, unless we roll that. This is the other thing. He can just wait, essentially, until things go wrong. Ooh, too many skulls. It's sort of what we have to do. I mean, we have to sort of hope that he comes in at the ball and fails, I think, in some ways. It's pretty easy to open it up, though, isn't it? That's why we're trying to push push that guy away. Could attempt the croc splits. Okay, he's just gonna... No. If he had hit this guy, this guy would have been free for the blitz. So what's the plan? He seems really unconcerned about the ball. I suppose there is guard here, which is nice. I guess we're going to maybe get croc splits after all. Which has the added uh, benefit of putting pale on the situation. Ah, he gets the pair. That's unfortunate. But not surprising. Didn't follow. Ball landed okay for us. This guy can't pick up. At this point, if you just jump on this guy, it could be worth. Because if you foul him, we're kind of done, right? Uh, yeah, okay. My my plan was if I could get a push there, we've got two guard on the crocs and I can potentially get rid of him. We'll try this then. Oh, all the skulls. At least have the decency to get injured there. Um I mean, we're in an increasingly bad situation here, right? That's the dodge because of him. Okay, so you're done. I mean, we're out of rerolls now, so this is what it is. Is that stun on Gobbo? Yeah, that's not great. Well, <clears throat> it was always on the cards, but... I think we fought the way we could. And now, barring catastrophe, I think he's... I think he might have us here. <laughs> I think the percentage just jumped a lot higher. I think it was like... 70% that he was... that he was gonna pull off a victory. I'm just throwing out numbers here, but what I, they're what I feel like. Um, and I think now it's gone up to sort of 85%. I think once he has the ball in hand, we're looking at 95%. It's not happening this turn unless, you know, I mean, he could go for it. Three plus dodge, four plus pickup, it's not ridiculous. Maybe I'd bring one more skink around, just in case. I mean, I don't really know what you're defending against, because there's nothing back there. There's no real threat. I, I would say, I think, we've had, uh, we've had a couple of games that have gone like this for us, so, you know, where the injury dice have just gone crazy good. So I can't really uh, complain too hard that it's gone that way for him. Hmm. It's not what we were looking for.
It's down to the Black Orcs now. Come on, you can do it. How come those always work for other people? Nanigans. I'd have taken a push there. It's not looking great now, is it? It's not not looking ideal. Ball down again. Still in the tackle zone, but crucially, he can clear that tackle zone. So I think I would just bring this guy here. Two dice this. If he falls over, just keep this guy here, and then this guy runs through with the ball, and just sort of goes down here, ultimately. Still stays put. I think I might have, with the um, lack of knockdown, I think I might have followed just to get somebody else on the ball, but I guess you've also got to bear in mind that our chances of getting this ball back are uh, minuscule at this point, so it doesn't really matter. Six plus dodge for a uh, push into the crowd, and we've got to be done, right? And if we make this two dice first, we have uh, well, not much, but it's uh, much better. So we could do that, or we could go for this. I mean, it's. Go big or go home now, isn't it, really? Oh, for a second, I thought we had done it. Because he walked into the space and then fell over, I thought maybe we stood a chance there. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's our, what, second loss, I think? I still don't technically know what are good and bad matchups for, for Black Orcs because they're so new to me. I guess they've been out for ages for other people. Um, I feel like this is probably a bad matchup for them, but if anybody watching is fair on the stats, let me know. I I felt like looking at it it was going to be a tough game for us. Uh, made all the tougher by by armor breaks that sort of, I think it's fair to say, went a bit against the run of what you'd expect. You know, he's got no mighty blow, and his Saurus were clunking out our Black Hawks left, right, and center. Uh, we did we did get a little revenge on that with the KOs that I think gave us a little chance, but ultimately his his Skink Swarm. Um, and our two failed fouls. You'll you'll notice that it's now I've got a sneaky player that fouling has you know and tried fouling. What the results are? This is. I I say it all the time, but this is exactly why. I, usually just avoid fouling. It. Uh, for some people, it, it works miraculously. or well, not miraculously, but it, it, it works. For me, I just haven't found that to be the case. Um, so I've had I've had little runs of it working. I think I did a sort of foully team of some kind relatively recently. Um, it might have been Blood Bowl 2, though. And it kind of worked. I think the problem is I just end up not fouling as much because I don't see the... It worries me, ultimately. I just don't feel like it's going to go well. And I don't think you can psychologically push the foul dice into going badly for you, but I guess you can kind of go with 
there's something to feeling what works for you and what doesn't. And maybe it doesn't work for me because I don't do it optimally. I don't, you know, my setups aren't good for fouling or something. So I think there could be more to it than just, hey, I always roll bad on fouls. Uh, maybe it's that I don't set up my teams to take advantage of it if it does work. That's that's gone very well for him, hasn't it? I mean, look at all that SBP. He, I mean, he really did demolish. Um, I'm going to at least lay some of the blame in this game to armor breaks as as i have laid it in previous games to that we've won to our armor breaks going well i'm not saying that we were hard, hard done by in a way that other people aren't well that's good um but yeah i will say that that was a factor that made it an uphill battle i don't, I don't think that's too unreasonable Let's jam some guard on this guy. But yeah, I, I think the thing is I just don't get fouling. Um, you know, the other thing I suppose is I shouldn't just take one game's example. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why on earth do we have 175k all of a sudden? Uh, maybe we try and, no, will that do a general random? No, I have to get six for a general random. So we don't have anybody that can do a random on the goblins. Cause I figured we could start randomizing them and seeing if we can get like a dirty player and then go dirty player sneaky. I don't know if that's worth it. Anyway, let's look at where we're. Where we're at, we're 11 and 2, which is a pretty solid win ratio. So let's not get too depressed about it. And we'll come back next time, give it another try. We've got the extra guard now that will have an impact for sure. Uh, and yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how, see how to keep progressing. Maybe experiment more with the, with the fouling. I don't know. Like I say, I'm, I'm just, iffy on it. Maybe I shouldn't have hit that one, but I thought Sneaky would protect us. I think we must have rolled pretty badly, like a really low double or something. I can't remember how, it, in fairness, I can't exactly remember how it works, but as much as I've seen other people just jump on for random fouls and get away with it, I, <laughs> you know. Anyways, waffle time over. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.